Okay, so we are in the uh, chapter for Newton's law of universal gravitation, and so where we <laughs> introduce uh, this uh, uh, formula for the gravitational force due to some mass. That uh, expression is uh, gravitational force. The magnitude is equal to the constant g. It's a universal constant times um, the product of masses m1 times m2 divided by radi uh, distance squared. So this is the expression that we are working with and there are other things we introduced in the chapter. And for the purpose of this question, one of the things that you need to know is this special property of a spherically symmetric object. So when you have a spherically symmetric object like a planet, um, so it might have different composition from center and out, but it's a spherically symmetric, as in when you rotate it, it doesn't change. When you are out here, the gravitational force that you will feel, it's the same gravitational force that you would uh, feel if all this uh, distributed mass, instead of being distributed, if it were all concentrated at the center, then the gravitational force is the same gravitational force that you would feel. So, um, so when they give us the radius of planet, what they are really telling us this radius r is the same as the distance that we uh, worry about in the Newton's law of universal gravitation. And this is something that's uh, exactly true only for spherically symmetric objects. So. So with that, it says the acceleration due to gravity is some value g, and it's asking what is the mass of the planet. Ah. So it's uh, um, expecting some level of familiarity. So we've expressed the gravity in two different ways. This is what we are learning in chapter 13, and we've also used this expression. Gravitational force is equal to mass times g. And so you have to compare these two expressions together, which are equivalent to each other for a person who is standing on the surface of the planet. So you have to figure out, oh, so if one of these two masses is the mass of the person, let me say M1 is the mass of the person, then you can imagine rewriting this this way. You collect together all the terms that uh, other than that mass of the person, so mass of the person times, I have g times m2 over distance or radius squared. This is what we equate to gravitational acceleration because this combination of quantities will give us gravitational acceleration. So then telling us acceleration due to gravity is this is equivalent to saying that this is oh, yeah, giving us g for this context. So. So let me solve this for the, the mass, m2, because that's what we need. Solving, so this is the cleaned up version of the equation. g m2 over r squared is equal to g. Let me solve this for m2. m2 is equal to small g times r squared divided by big g. Okay, let me plug in the numbers and I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha because uh, that way I don't have to look up what G is. <laughs> so 24 meter per second squared times the radius of four times 10 to the seven. So four E seven meters squared divided by uh, uh, G. I think Wolfram Alpha will understand, let's see. If it doesn't, then I can spell it out. 24, yeah, Newtonian gravitational constant. Okay, so for 24, yeah, I get an answer here. Okay, 5.75 times 10 to the power of 26 kilogram. So let me plug that in. 5.75, three times 10 to the power of 26 kilogram. And frankly, these astronomical numbers, um, it's hard to get an intuition about it. It's fine. Um, you know, it, I think it, uh, I have no idea how large this is. It seems large. I'll just leave it at that. 